now for uh, achieving vision 2020 one of the most important uh, dreaded uh, catastrophe that can occur interoperative is posterior capsular rent but uh, we have got a stalwart with us from indore dr raju choudhury sir he will be speaking even if you have pcr vision 2020 is a achievable dream sir good morning friends thank you rajesh for uh, having me here posterior capsular rent is one of the most fear and everybody fears for every s either simple case complicated case and probably this is our the primary most important fear whether they are the beginner where they are the senior or expert everybody fears so i am going to cover some of the few points to be taken care so there are different predisposing factor if you are micro so they are a basic machine is not good sudden surge but they are not the old problem microscope if deep set eye prominent eyebrows disorder of spine there are multiple issue anterior chamber depth is low iris and pupillary factor multiple problem with the capsule lens and genule there is the incidence so what is the primary aim so to main aim is to avoid the posterior dislocation of the nucleus if nucleus or cortical matter that should not go prevent any damage to the cordial endothelium by managing the surgery and one of the important prevent enlargement of the tear whatever had happened we should be careful that it should not enlarge more prevent enlargement of rexis maintain good size remove left over cortex and to give the proper position of the there is the most common time when you are a uh, where pcr can occur is a emulsification of last piece during ia when we are more relaxed during pc polishing so there are the few signs which are the you recognize how early you recognize the pcr when the nucleus is there then how are then you are more effectively able to manage sudden deepening transitory sudden appearance of the red glow you are not able to move your nucleus probably reducing the efficacy of nucleus sculpting and tilting of the nucleus is one of the few signs that this is the video showing how the hard brown cataract you just watch and many time you see that you are not n done nothing but it's just I have done the hydro. I slightly push to save the fluid out. And you see that that it become a deep and the nucleus is slightly going back. So this is the first sign that then you are sculpting and you feel You try to rotate and you feel that it's slightly hard and it is coming back. That is called a spring action. It means if you realize at that time you are more effectively managed, otherwise you may increase the and then you notice that backside there is a rent. Here it is the you can see in large red reflex. So what we should do once there is there is some basic point use your reflex reflex if you have catch hold of the during IA if you have catch hold of the posterior capsule so that if you suddenly remove that probe you will increase the rent because the capsule will come with you so as soon as you notice use the re reflex and try to avoid this extension to go beyond. Many times you catch hold of the capsule and you are using the reflex and it is not going. Reflex is not because that so much amount of the capsule is inside the IA tip that it will not. So you keep your probe steady 
and use the spatula to dislodge this. It may turn, but if you withdraw this, you are going to lose all of your bake. So this is important to recognize the early recognize. So you can take a prompt measure to so to avoid sudden. This is another case. If you there is a posterior polar, you are careful. You should be careful because there is a rain. You see. So once you want to withdraw, you sh should not withdraw immediately the probe. Inject visco so that your chamber remain maintain and so this will avoid your extension. Then if you notice uh, the hard brown cataract, so important is to achieve 20 to the proper placement and proper calculation. Sometimes if you are not able to put the lens in the bag and if you are putting here it is the rent, you can see that is the rent and the large chunk of the nucleus is remaining. If we start emulsifying, we will pull up the vitreous. If we go for vitrectomy, lens can fall. So best option is to oil scaffolding, folding, put the intraocular lens before removing this piece, and then very easily you can intraocular lens. And you can it's not moving. If you have the, the best thing, you can do the vitrectomy here. Fill with the vitreous, and you can see that many times you use the trimsilon before putting into ocular lens, and many times you can do after the, so to identify the vitreous in the anterior chamber, and you can this is one of the important videos. It is having the pre-existing tear. This I wanted to show, posterior polar. You can see a elliptical tear. Pre-existing tear is there. Still, we can perform the surgery very well. Staining is important in this. So you can identify the rim. I will just show this video. Because this is a bit gentle hydrodelineation because already pre-existing rent is there. Nucleus is soft, we can emulsify and aspirate. Aspiration. Nucleus is out. Now, still the vitreous is there. You can have the vitrectomy from the parse planant, trimsilon, to identify the do the anterior vitrectomy. Either you can do with the two port or you can go for the parse plana so that you can withdraw the vitreous. Once you had, the important is to place the lens. If you are able to, here the three piece lens is, should be used. You can put it in the bag and you can capture, uh, optic capture 
is uh, anteriorly, or if you put the lens in the uh, haptic in the sulcus, you can fit the reverse capture of the. So these are a few more video. So in short, early recognition, prompt management for PCR and vitreous prolapse, we can give a good visual outcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for showing various scenarios of uh, posterior capsular intent and how we can achieve.